So, Julita, in the pharmaceutical industry, time to market is really, really important. Can you explain to me how in process development we're using the digital twin and here in the living lab? With the digital twin, you can increase process knowledge and develop much more uh, robust processes in a short period of time. There are different digital twins. You know, this is the digital twin for product and process, digital twin for the production. Uh, in this case, we are talking about the simulation of the process. Okay, and you have an example? An example, we applied computational fluid dynamics solution, STASICM Plus, to investigate the flow in the fermenter and the oxygen mass transfer. It is very important for scale up and the text transfers. So this is a downstream process or an upstream process? This is the upstream, uh, upstream process. process. But Andrew. you have an example of a downstream process. <laughs> sure. This is the simulation of the chromatographic column uh, done at the University of Natural Resources and Applied Life Sciences in the Alois Jungbauer uh, Research Group. They are also using STASI CM+. Okay, and why are they doing this? What's the benefit of this? So the benefit uh, for pharma companies is to save time and increase the efficiency. Okay, thank you, Julita. I'm going to turn to Michael, because I think there are many more examples of simulation and modeling. Michael, can you show me some other stuff that you're doing here? Sure, Andy. So what we did here also in our living lab, we were also implementing a mechanistic model of our fermentation process, which takes into account basically the physical properties as well as also the biochemical reactions. Yeah? Okay. And with such a model, we can basically um, estimate in an online way and really also in real time if we want to, if we want to do that. Um, the, the pH value, for instance, the biomass um, growth, as well as the substrate consumption, for instance. So that's like a scientific approach to modeling? Correct, yeah. So as you see it here on this slide here, um, we can take basically into account um, when we really go into the direction of modeling our process, take into account the science, for instance, so the equations basically of the process itself. Yeah? We can also take into account all the knowledge that we already gathered from process engineering, um, your own knowledge, of course, that can, everything can be incorporated into such a model. Yeah? And what you also see here, here on this slide is that you not only can um, really implement the model of a single unit operation, but you can also model here an entire plant um, depending on yeah, how your plant basically looks like from the structure and simulate and model basically your entire process and your entire plant. Uh, but what do, you do with, so what do you do with that model? So what you can do, you could first of all, this, the simplest application is basically just to simulate the process behavior. So really right. have a look at how your process really behaves with the model. But you could also do some kind of global system analysis where you really can analyze, for instance, what kind of varying input parameters will you have on your final product. Or you could also use it for optimization purposes. This can either mean um, you could use it for offline optimization, but as well as online optimization, where the, the model then basically really runs in parallel to the process and can be used for, for instance, advanced process control. Fantastic. So great examples of the digital twin in the pharmaceutical industry. Thank you very much, Michael. Thanks very much, Julita. You're welcome. Thank you.